Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I have Niels, Niels Hoffman. Hoffman out. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna do a single set. So I thought it'd be interesting to kind of show what a uh, rec level, average level club player like myself would do against a top junior recruit who's going to play D1 tennis at USC. At USC. So it's probably gonna be a quick set, you know, <laughs> but it'll be good to show kind of the contrast in levels. Niels, what is your uh, UTR? Um, 12, three. Yeah, and then high school senior. High school senior. Going to USC in the fall, in a couple months. Yes, sir. Yeah. Pretty impressive stuff. Um, so I wanna ask you some questions about like how you got to this point. So first off, how many hours or days per week do you think you're playing and training? Um, like most, most days a week, maybe an hour and a half to two hours okay. on the court. So that's like almost, let's say, just say like seven days a week. Six, at least six or seven. One, sure. one to two hours, one and a half. Yeah. Okay, and then how much of it is off the court, like footwork and? Like an uh, hour, hour and a half. Okay. So it's like kind of 50-50 you do hitting and yeah. uh, training? Yeah, oh, okay. maybe a little more hitting. But okay, yeah. Sure. What percentage of your success do you think comes from hard work versus talent? Ooh, uh, I think working hard for, for anybody, you know, it's, it's yeah big component of their game. So yeah. I'll go like 80, 20. 80 working hard, 80 working hard. 20 natural talent. 20, yeah, sure. Do you think you probably need some amount of natural talent to make it that high up? I sure. Like you probably do. Sure, but I think, you know, with, with hard work, yeah. most things can come to you. Yeah. All right, guys, I play a USTA 4-5 level, usually play from the baseline. I'm not very good when I come into net, but I try to come into net. If I had to describe, you'd be big forehand, more of a loopy backhand, mm. pretty big serve. You can hit aces too, so. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> and then you try to get in that too, just like everyone else. So. Yeah. All right, Niels, I know I've asked you this before, but for any new viewers, what racket string intention are you using today? Um, Blade 98, uh, use Hyper G 16 gauge, um, and a little bit of weight in the handle. Uh huh. Um, that's about it. And tension? Like 50, low 50s. Perfect. All right, guys, I'm using the regular Babla Aero VS 98 square inch, uh, strung at 45 pounds with Solinko Hyper G. As always, guys, if you like this kind of content, hit the subscribe button, uh, leave some nice comments for both of us, and then if you want to follow Niels' tennis journey, I'll leave his Instagram here below.
Let it around. A little bit back. I that one. on there yeah, before yeah. you go to I school. Think.
All right, Niels, thank you for that 8-0 beatdown. Um, I'm pretty gassed at this point. I don't feel like you're too tired just from the fitness you've been doing and the hard work you've been putting in. Yeah, yeah. Just, <laughs> Taking just control of the points, too. Yeah. What do you think was the biggest difference in level? I think um, maybe the serve difference and the return difference are obviously big for any uh, huge level gap. Yeah, yeah, serve and return. I mean, you can't get the points started yeah. if, you, if you don't have those things. But, um, yeah, I thought you, I thought you hit great. Also, it's like an intangible thing, but I feel like I am feeling all this pressure to even just hit it deep because if I don't hit it deep and perfectly, I'm just going to be on the defense and running and going to be tired physically and probably less likely to win points. So it's like a mental pressure to just hit the perfect ball because I know you're going to take advantage if not. Do you, yeah, like, it's you totally normal. I've, I've felt that playing you know, yeah. some, some really good some players. Even better players. Yeah. Um, so, Niels, going to USC in the fall, what do you think you need to improve on in your game with your game to make the biggest impact? for the USC team? Uh, probably just playing loose every point and just kind of allowing myself to, to hit, rip through the ball. Um, need a bigger serve a little bit, and um, hopefully if I put on a few pounds, I'll be a little stronger. Oh, a few pounds of muscle? A few pounds of muscle. Yeah, I mean, you got the height, definitely. But... Yeah, yeah, a few <laughs> inches wouldn't hurt either. Yeah, fill out a little bit more. Yeah. So last question, Niels, as a top junior in the nation, actually, um, how do you practice? Like, do you just find players um, similar to your level to hit against? Or do you do a lot of drilling, feeding? Uh, what's like the practice regimen like? Um, compete a lot, play a lot of so tournaments, play a lot of matches, uh, and just like with peers. Okay. So people around okay. my level, and then do you do I'm, like drop feeding and that kind of what, stuff. Like too? with my coach, we'll do like some okay. some drills and stuff. Yeah. But um, primarily a decent amount of you know just competing. That was that was at least to get to like a higher level. But now it's like more specifics and stuff. So yeah. I guess yeah. it could be more drilling. But yeah. yeah. A little bit above. Yeah. All right, Niels, I got some Solinko product for you as a thank you. So first off, a windbreaker. It's got a hood and it's like a light jacket for you and then also a duffel bag so if you want to try them on see how they look yeah totally thanks some Solinko gear to hold you over till you get all the usc stuff <laughs> <laughs> very nice black perfect nice Solinko. and then um, bag all right man you look like a Solinko star now thanks again niels as always guys if you like this kind of content hit the subscribe button leave some nice comments for us and i'll leave all our instagrams here see you on the next one thanks